reducing traffic congestion and pollution in urban areas. Executive Summary We present here some ideas for reducing congestion and pollution in urban areas, applicable in the UK and worldwide. The ideas were developed in the context of the Greater Cambridge Area, roughly Cambridge City and South Cambridgeshire District, which is typical of many UK towns and cities. The region has an urban population under 150,000, surrounded by a dispersed rural population. Temporary measures free up road capacity. Temporary measures free up road capacity that is soon filled by induced demand, people adapt their lifestyles to prevailing road conditions. Such measures are therefore worth pursuing only if they either buy time or lay the foundations for more radical interventions. We take a quick look at measures in this category that should not be considered as solutions, at least not in isolation. Virtuous measures start a feedback loop that induces more and more people to make a modal shift away from driving. Making a bus service more convenient or cheaper will increase patronage, which means that the service can be run more frequently and for longer. Interventions to reduce traffic congestion. Modern, sophisticated initiatives that are better than typical, big ideas, include, use CCTV to monitor road conditions. Enforce existing road traffic laws. Improve perceptions of buses. Charge for workplace parking. Improve bus services. Use inbound flow control. Existing rail network. Strategic road network resilience. The one-hit solution. It is often incorrectly suggested that congestion may be solved with one big idea, such as, widen roads, narrow roads, add bus lanes, remove bus lanes, build tunnels, build a new ring road, build a light rail network, switch off traffic lights, ban cycling, ban cars from city centers. Optimize traffic light management. Urban Traffic Management Control UTMC, systems such as SCOOT can be very effective in maximizing road capacity by varying the timing of traffic lights to match demand in real time. When lights are all coordinated responsively to demand, incidences of blocking back vehicles stuck in junctions, leading to gridlock can be minimized. Traffic planners can also prepare and model programs to cope with specific scenarios, such as an incident on an arterial road, which can then be loaded into the UTMC immediately there needed. Use CCTV to monitor road conditions. Use of CCTV at junctions allows traffic managers to see breakdowns, collisions and other causes of congestion. Combined with good communication systems with Highways England, the police and major road users, such as airports, train stations, retail parks, this can ensure traffic managers receive advance warning of issues that will impact their network. Enforce existing road traffic laws. Illegal parking, waiting, loading, unloading obstructs traffic flow, reduces capacity at junctions, holds up buses, and increases danger to those walking or cycling. Blocking junctions, which is illegal where there's a yellow box, can cause gridlock across a wide area of the road network. Driving at an inappropriate speed, jumping red lights, or driving through restricted areas all contribute to fatalities, injuries and an unwillingness for people to walk or cycle, or to allow their children to do so unaccompanied. Improve perceptions of buses.
There is a perception, partly class-related, that trams are more attractive than buses. Rather than pander to this bias, potentially at huge expense, it makes sense to examine why the perception exists. Concluding thoughts. The name of the game is modal shift. Long-term reductions in congestion require people to switch to more sustainable, space-sufficient modes of transport, walking, cycling, buses, trams and trains. Though some relief may be gained from increasing the efficiency and capacity of the road network, this will always be short-term, the iron law of induced demand will see to that. People will simply adapt to prevailing road conditions, choosing whichever route is quickest, and increasing driving distances as road speeds increase.